for in just a few weeks on November 6th, Utah goes off of daylight saving time, so we all need to be ready. Even just getting thrown off your circadian rhythm by an hour can increase or decrease your risk of a heart attack. We have Dr. John Day here to talk a little bit about how important sleep is and getting thrown off that cycle even just one hour. It's huge. It's yeah. huge. So we're, we're in for a bonus. We get an extra hour of sleep. Our heart attack risk goes down by about 21% for a few days after we go off. Okay. But when we go back on in the spring, heart attack risk goes up by about 24% for a few days. Okay, how do you reduce those risks? Well, you can get ready. In the fall, just enjoy your extra hour of sleep. Okay, and uh, the consistent bedtime? It's huge. You know, there's one Brazilian study show that showed that one of the key reasons for longevity, being a centenarian, was a stable bedtime. We know that shift workers who are constantly mm -hmm. thrown off have a higher heart attack risk, cancer risk, and they're more likely to die prematurely. And those of us who get up at 1.30 in the morning? It's tough. It's <laughs> weird shifts. <laughs> you got weird shifts. Okay, and then you found some apps. There's some apps. There are ways of hacking your sleep. The National Sleep Foundation says that a smartphone can rob you of an hour of sleep, but we can hack that. The okay. first is bedtime. Bedtime app. Remind you to go to bed on time. All right. It can, it's very helpful. It's called Sleepy Time on, for Android users. Okay. The next is called Night Shift. Blocks out the blue light. Oh. So you're not stimulated at night. Okay. And then the last is White Noise. Drowns out that toilet flushing in the middle of the night, okay. the dog barking, can help you sleep. Okay, three cool apps, and we will have them all on our website. Links to all of them are on the website. Okay, thank you so much, Dr. Thanks Day. Just go to KUTV.com.